Hi, welcome to Frank and Frank Automotive Repair. Today we're going to be looking at solving the always on gas cap light on the Dodge Ram 2010 and above. Very common on models with the 5.7 engine. Um, you will either have this light on in your dash where it's a warning light says that your gas cap is not on properly and you might also have a check engine light which if you scan you will get evap codes. There's a variety of reasons that the lights could be on. Um, we'll troubleshoot through different combinations of lights and kind of figure out what might be best for your vehicle. So if you've had just the gas cap light on for quite a while but no engine codes, it's most likely that your cap really is not on tight or the cap is faulty. So the way you can test this is you can obviously go check if the cap is tight. Um, if that doesn't work, you can try rubbing uh, some grease or some Vaseline around the uh, rubber lip of the gas cap. Make, visually inspect that and make sure there are no rips or tears and tighten it. Um, that should help. Works sometimes if it's that simple. If that doesn't work, try doing it again, disconnecting your battery. That will usually make the light go away for a while, but if it's still an issue and it comes back within three days, then you could try replacing the cap itself. It's very likely that if you have the engine light on, you will have codes P0456 or P0457 or both. These are EVAP leak codes, and so you could be experiencing a leak from the gas cap itself, which the original troubleshooting guide may fix. So that's why I recommend you try that first, regardless if you are having the engine codes or just the gas cap light. If you've already tried that and that hasn't fixed it, then we move on to step two. If you have the engine code, you're going to want access to a scanner. So after doing the uh, replacing the gas cap, you're going to want to wipe the codes, make sure it's on tight, unplug the battery for 30 seconds, plug it back in. It should go away. And now you're going to want to wait up to three days to see if it comes back. If it didn't, Great, you've solved your issue, codes are gone. If it does, then we have to go and find an actual leak or a faulty part. Next, I would suggest to inspect visually through all your um, evaporated system lines and hoses and ensure that there are no cracks, no leaks. Uh, if you have access to a smoke machine or take it to a shop and do a uh, leak test on the system. Um, but I don't think this is very common, uh, especially if the vehicle is in decent condition and on the newer side. Uh, what it's most likely is the canister purge valve. So this is located underneath the vehicle uh, in, the, in the EVAP system. And it's just on the Ram 1500s, it looks about this size, um, black, very small, it's not very expensive very easy fix. You can either do it yourself or uh, take it to a shop and have it done quite easily. Uh, I would say that 9 out of 10 vehicles that it isn't the gas cap or you know resetting with a scanner, um, it will be this little canister. Um, I think in some systems they're known as ESIM, Evaporative System Integrity Monitors, um, or it acts in a similar way and it is a, it's a different part depending on the vehicle. Uh, so look into those two for your vehicle and I would say that that's going to work for 90 plus percent of people. The remaining 10% you do have a vac leak somewhere. It's probably even less than 10%. You have a vac leak somewhere so you're going to want to inspect hoses and lines and make sure that there are no leaks hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions or need any troubleshooting tips. And let me know what kinds of uh, videos you want to see next. Thanks.